a chapter a day to brighten your way. We step forward for the sake of love. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Esther chapter 4. In the previous chapter, we read that Mordecai's unwillingness to bow down to Haman, the chief minister to the king of Persia, caused Haman to hold a grudge. He wanted to get rid of not only Mordecai, but also all the innocent Jews in Persia. Now, the sad news had spread throughout the provinces and all the Jews were terrified and grief-stricken. What would Mordecai do in the face of this great crisis? Let's read chapter 4 together. Esther, chapter 4 When Mordecai learned all that had been done, Mordecai tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the midst of the city, and he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. He went up to the entrance of the king's gate, for no one was allowed to enter the king's gate clothed in sackcloth. And in every province, wherever the king's command and his decree reached, there was great mourning among the Jews, with fasting and weeping and lamenting, and many of them lay in sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's young woman and her eunuchs came and told her, the queen was deeply distressed. She sent garments to clothe Mordecai, so that he might take off his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. Then Esther called for Hathak, one of the king's eunuchs, who had been appointed to attend her, and ordered him to go to Mordecai to learn what this was and why it was. Hathak went out to Mordecai in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate, and Mordecai told him all that had happened to him, and the exact sum of money that Haman had promised to pay into the king's treasuries for the destruction of the Jews. Mordecai also gave him a copy of the written decree issued in Susa for their destruction, that he might show it to Esther and explain it to her and command her to go to the king to beg his favor and plead with him on behalf of her people. And Hathak went and told Esther what Mordecai had said. Then Esther spoke to Hathak and commanded him to go to Mordecai and say, all the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that if any man or woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called, there is but one law, to be put to death, except the one to whom the king holds out the golden scepter so that he may live. But as for me, I have not been called to come in to the king these thirty days. And they told Mordecai what Esther had said. Then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther. Do not think to yourself that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go, gather all the Jews to be found in Susa, and hold a fast on my behalf and do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my young woman will also fast as you do. Then I will go to the king, though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Mordecai then went away and did everything as Esther had ordered him. At the time, no one was allowed to appear before the king without his order. Even the queen had to abide by these rules. Praise be to God, for he prepared Esther to become the queen and gave her immense love and courage. She was so determined to prevent this tragedy from happening that she risked her life to meet the king. Dear friends, if you were Esther, what would you do? Trust that the identity, position, and influence God has prepared for each of us are all according to his plan and his purpose. I encourage you to consider your own position and what you can do for the situations around you. May we all step forward out of love. With God's protection, you are the key to turning the situation around. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please give me the love and courage to make good use of my resources and accomplishments so that I can be an immediate help to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.